Hi, my name is Aaron Daly. I'm the lead multiplayer designer on The Last of Us. Hi, I'm Quentin Cobb, game designer on The Last of Us. Now we're going to give you the rundown on the details of our latest patch. Late joining a game after the very start of the match will no longer consume a clan day. We fixed a bug with the item caches, where if your team was losing or you were doing poorly and you were getting additional items, and then your team managed to make a comeback, you would be still getting those additional items. That bug is fixed and that no longer happens. We heard your feedback about interrogation mode ending in a tie too often. Now, games will only end in a tie if both teams are in the same section of the unlocking process. So for example, if one team has more interrogations than another team, that team will win. To support the new maps we just released, we've added a DLC playlist. Now, this playlist contains both the retail maps and the new DLC maps, but the DLC maps should come up much more frequently in the vote. We've added a part bonus for late joiners based on when you enter a match in progress. So now, late joiners will be more competitive with players that have been in the match from the beginning. We fixed some issues with the item caches when they're spawning comeback items. These are the pre-crafted Molotovs, bombs, and sometimes power weapons or machetes that spawn from an item cache when your team is losing or you're doing poorly. Previously, these items would spawn very inconsistently, so we fixed those bugs, and now they'll spawn much more reliably. We've also made some changes to the way the 2x4 spawn. This is probably one of the biggest changes we've made in this patch. So previously, as soon as you got to one of the middle caches in a map, you would get a 2x4, guaranteed, 100% of the time. This meant that at the very start of a match, almost everybody had a 2x4, and many players had upgraded 2x4s. We felt that this didn't provide a very good escalation to the start of the match, so we've changed that so now 2x4s will only appear after a little bit of the match progress has elapsed. Being released alongside this patch is our DLC pack with four brand new maps. Well that's it for the patch notes, and we'd love to hear your feedback about the maps, so make sure to go to NaughtyDog.com and let us know what you think. See you online. Do I really have to say that? Yep. <laughs>